I would like to take your attention to Luke chapter number 10 verses 38 to 42. Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42. I hope it is my prayer that as our patriarch teaches soul winning, God will touch your heart. Sabi ko mata sa gidan di apo di puso yung kakabsal. And listen to me. If God has touched your heart, that is the initial kick off. Para sa ganon ay gumalaw ka at gumawa ka. But I would like for you to know that that fire must be sustained. Now how do we sustain that fire? Let's look at the book of the 10th chapter of the book of Luke verses 38 to 42. The Bible says here, Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet, and heard his word. Take note of that. Heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me alone to serve? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful. And Mary had chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. You know, two ladies are mentioned here. Martha and Mary. And Jesus came into the house. Mary sat at Jesus' feet and listened to his word. While Martha did what a good host would do normally do she went to the kitchen and prepared food uh, because she was a host to the lord jesus christ so she wanted to serve the lord a good meal but jesus did not go to be served with a good meal he went to give a good a spiritual meal that's why jesus said to martha you are cumbered and troubled careful about many things but Mary had chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. This afternoon, I would like to encourage and inspire you with this message I entitled, Choose the Good Part. Amen. Choose the Good Part. What Martha did was wonderful, but at that moment, it was not the good part. There are many things that we do every day of our life. They are essential. As a church, the Great Commission, winning souls, discipling new believers, follow-up and Bible studies are wonderful. But we need to choose the good part. Not that we do not pay attention to these things. But the Lord is saying, first things first. When, when, the, when the essential things of life becomes first rather than second, mga kapatid, when there is uh, uh, pag yung essential things sa buhay ay umagaw doon sa dapat na unahin, it becomes bad. Naintindihan po natin. Pag ang mga essential na bagay na dapat nating gawin ay naging kaagaw noong dapat nating unahin, it becomes not good for us. That's why the challenge this afternoon is choose the good part. I hope you do not take doing and being in conflict. They are complementary. But something must come first. Dapat meron pong maging priority sa ating buhay. And that is what Mary did. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, I pray that you bless our message this afternoon. May we not neglect the source of our strength, our power, 
our energy so that we can accomplish what you have called us to do. Lord, I pray that we will be like Mary, that we will choose the good part every day, every week of our life, so that we could be vibrant, energetic, fruitful, productive believers wherever we are and whatever we do. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, in another passage, the word is careful and troubled, cumbered. Martha was cumbered. The word cumbered means distracted by matters that in light of Jesus' visit should have been secondary. Are you following? So, ibig pong sabihin, meron pong mga bagay na dapat ilagay natin secondary, not that they have an inferior importance. No. Hindi po natin dinidepreciate ang importance ng mga essential things na ito, whether it be practical like going to work, whether it be Christian responsibility which is soul winning discipleship. We are not saying that they are inferior in nature or they are secondary in value. It is just so that in the viewpoint of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us not allow these things to sap our attention to the primary matter which is our time with the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya ganito po ang gusto kong maunawaan niyo. Ano tong tinutukoy ng ating Panginoon na good part? What is this good part that Jesus was referring to, referring to about Mary? Nasabi niya, Mary had chosen that good part. At ang sabi pa rito, which shall not be taken away from her. Ibig sabihin, it is a permanent value, it is a permanent uh, thing that will make a big difference in her life and it shall not be taken away from her. Now, this good part that is seen here is yung sinabi ng Bible sa 39, which also said at Jesus' feet and heard His word. In other words, this good part is the word of God. Ito po yun. But in order for us to receive the word of God, we need two things. Number one, daily quiet time with God. Amen. My message is basic. But when you ignore it, you have no, your witness will be powerless. Your light will be dim. You are a Christian without energy and vibrance. Tatandaan niyo po na ang salita ng Diyos ang panggagalingan ng ating lakas upang magampanan natin ang ating role at responsibility bilang Kristiyano. So let us never ignore the importance of daily quiet time with God. In our modern time, we are just like Martha, cumbered, careful with many things because of social media, because of the busyness of life. You're catching up with the bus schedule. You have two jobs. You have a family and children to take care of. Nakuha na ng lahat ang oras mo, wala kang oras para sa Panginoon. I would like for you to realize that even our Lord Jesus Christ had to spend time with the Father in Mark chapter 1, verse number 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, He went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. Brethren, Panginoon na yan. God po siya. King of kings. He is the sovereign in control of the universe. But in his humanity, he left us an example to follow. That before we face the day, we must first face our Lord. He went to a solitary place and there prayed. 
Ipinapakita po niya ang kahalagahan ng quiet time. In Luke chapter 5 verse number 16. Luke chapter 5 verse number 16. The Bible says, And he withdrew himself into the wilderness. Tandaan niyo po. Hindi po ito umaga. It was somehow one part of the day. Jesus withdrew. Ibig sabihin, He performed a lot of miracles. He was just giving. He was just investing his time, spending with people. And humanly, he was depleted and drained. So what did he do? He withdrew himself into the wilderness. And what? Prayed. Nag-spend po siya ng quiet time with the Father. In Luke chapter 6 verse number 12. Luke chapter 6 verse number 12. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray. Saan po siya pumunta? Bundok. Kaya napagaganda po yung merong kang solitary place. A place where there is no distraction. A moment where you have to set aside your cell phone para wala kang iniisip kasi pag nandyan yung cellphone mo, mag-vibrate lang, mga kapatid. Ha? Natutukso ka na kunin yan. Nadi-disturb ang quiet time mo sa Panginoon. So, he went out into a mountain to pray. Look at what he did. Continued all night. Let me ask you, who among of you had spent the whole night praying? Don't you realize that this passage, when the Bible says, continued all night in prayer to God was an event that happened before He chose His disciples. Tignan niyo po. Choosing His disciples was easy to do. If you are smart, if you are intelligent, you have a sense of thinking, that's easy to do. And it was easy for Jesus to do that because He is all-knowing. But why would He have to spend all night in prayer? Ipinapakita ng ating Panginoon ang kahalagahan ng quiet time, mga kapatid. Before we become effective and powerful in our public life and testimony as believers of Jesus Christ, that powerful life should just be an outflow of our spending of quiet time with the Lord. Mga kapatid, That is the secret of our power. In Genesis chapter 19 verse 27, we see here what Abraham did. And this was his habit every day. Abraham got up early in the morning. The word early means that he had to wake up before his daily activities. We only wake up to do the daily activities. But Abraham woke up to face God. The Bible says, In the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. There was a set time early in the morning. There was a set place to the place. And there was a set purpose and appointment where he stood before the Lord. He just spent time with God. Daniel chapter 6 verse number 10. And you know, Abraham, before we read Daniel, went on to become the father of many nations. See, he was a very strong believer of God because of his quiet time. In Daniel chapter 6 verse number 10, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed for you to Uh, remember, the writing was made by his enemies, by his critics to pin him down, to find fault in him so that they could what? Uh, drag him down from position because these people were envy, envious of him. So when he heard of that writing, he went into his house and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? Because that is his hometown. That is the appointed place of God for them. 
So he may not be in Jerusalem physically, but he made sure that his spirit was in Jerusalem, the very place where God has appointed for them. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day. Remember that time he was already a prince in Babylon. And the Bible says that he kneeled three times a day. Three times a day. There was a reason why he had to do that. I believe that his burden was so heavy that he can help but kneel down. And you know what? Those who kneels most will be able to stand tall before men. And what did he do? He gave thanks before his God. Look, as he did aforetime. It was his daily habit to kneel three times a day, mga kapatid. This is the good part that Jesus was talking about. Which shall not be taken away from her. And if we just do this, mga kapatid, I'm telling you, everything else will follow. I remember what Pastor Jun keeps telling and teaching every time na magturo po siya ng disciples ng quiet time. Begin your day with the Lord and everything will fall in their proper order. Mga kapatid, that sounds great. But listen to me, you have to apply that. Gawin mo yan. Not only that this good part is the daily quiet time with God, but this good part is also our church meetings. There are many people who do not see the value of church meeting. They don't go to church. Bill Gates is a successful man, secularly speaking. But he said that I do not go to a Sunday school. I do not attend a Sunday service because he considers it a waste of time. Aksaya lamang ng oras because he is a man that is choleric in temperament. Ibig pong sabihin, ang kanyang dugo, ang nananalaytay sa kanyang dugo, is work, 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 work. And he said, going to church is a waste of time because there are many things I can do with three hours than just sitting there and doing nothing but listening to vain and useless things. That's what he thought about church. But you know what? Listen. As believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, church meeting is a good part because this is a moment we spend with the Lord. We spend our time with believers, but this is a time that we believers would spend time with God. Don't you realize na yung unang awit pa lang, mga kapatid, nakaka-bless na? That's why you cannot afford to be late. You cannot afford to miss the first song. Because the first song, once we start to sing, the worship service begins. The Spirit of God begins to move. And so, once we start the first song, we are in the spirit of worship. Another, not only Sunday worship, but our prayer meeting. Tignan niyo po kung gaano kahalaga ang prayer meeting. In Matthew chapter 18, verse number 19. Look at Matthew 18. The Bible says, again I say unto you, that if two of you, tingnan nyo, dalawa sa inyo, shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Marami tayong gusto para sa ministry. Pero ano ang sikreto? Prayer. Pag may dalawa daw sa inyo, na nag-agree at nagsabi, Panginoon, we agree concerning this thing, we ask of thee, anong sabi ng Bible? It shall be done for them. Tignan nyo kung gaano makapangyarihan ang prayer meeting, mga kapatid. Na pag tayo lahat, nandyan ang mga prayer request, we all come together in the spirit of unity, the spirit that this verse is telling we agree to pray for a request. Ano sabi ng Bible? It shall be done for them. In Acts chapter 1, this is a prayer meeting. Acts chapter 1, anong sabi doon? Uh, Acts chapter 1, verse number 23 and 24. Acts, no, sorry, Acts chapter 4. It should be Acts chapter 4. Okay? Acts chapter 4. 
verses 23 to 24. Bakita nyo po, dito, and being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. Tinakot po kasi sila eh. So anong ginawa nila? They went to their own company. Who is their company? The church. These two apostles went to their company. And verse 24, they prayed, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord, that's prayer meeting, and said, Lord, Thou art God. Nasaktan po sila. Nabigatan sila, which has made heaven and earth and sea. So they prayed. And look at what happened, mga kapatid. The place where they stood was shaken. So listen to me. We cannot devalue the importance of quiet time and our church meetings because this is the good part. Now listen to me. Why should we choose the good part? Bakit po natin, uh, uh, why should we strive and do our best to be like Mary, to spend our quiet time with God, to be in church, to, to, to spend time with the believers, with the Lord. There are four reasons that I would like to share with you. Number one, to renew our strength. To renew our strength. Yung binasa po natin sa Acts chapter 4, they lost their courage. Amuyo, adu dagiti makapaupay ti panagbiag. Hello? And you would wonder how you could actually sustain your fire, your energy. I know that there are some of us who are by nature, mga kapatid, is strong. But not all of us are like that. Adu dagiti makapaupay. You see, listen to me. Without us, kung wala tayo, God is still God. But without Him, we are nothing. That's why Jesus said in John 15, If ye abide in me, ano sabi ng Panginoon? Without me, you can what? Do nothing. Christ commanded us to do something. But He said, without me, you can't do that. So what should we do? To abide. And this word abide is an active verb. It does not only happen once. It should be practiced every day. That we practice abiding in the Lord. That we spend time with Him and go to church. And exercise our being attached to Him. Iattached tayo tibiyak tayo kinkwa na kakabsat. Hello? You see that? So abide in the Lord. Now, focusing on problems deplete us. Right? But the Word of God fills us. Nakita niyo po? The Word of God fills us. Sino po sa inyo ang may mga problema? Lahat tayo may mga problema, mga kapatid. And whether you want to admit it or not, problems can actually deplete you. It will discourage you. But bless God, when you spend time with the Lord, when you spend time in church to listen to the Word of God, what God does is, His Word will address your problems. That's why Ronald Reagan, a president of the past in the U.S. said, within the covers of the Bible are the answers for all the problems men face. Nandito ang kasagutan. Kanya lang, hindi naman po tayo kasi nag spend time sa Word of God. We take the Word of God just like a tablet. Nakakuha ka lang ng, mm, okay na yun sa akin. Well, to some of us, probably, a tablet of the Word of God is enough. But there are, there are times when we should treat the Word of God just like a spring that should fill us and satisfy us to the brim and not just a tablet we take, mga kapatid. You see? In Psalms chapter 1, tignan niyo po, 
Psalms chapter 1 verses 1 to 3, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate what? Day and night. You know, I've been a pastor for 23 years. But I would like for you to know that I still spend time with the Bible every day. I still spend time with God every day. And those days where I miss spending more time than I should, more time in prayer than I should, are those days when I feel I am weak, I am drained, and I do not have the strength. Tingnan niyo pangyayari, verse number 3, He shall be like a tree. Anong tutpag balinam? Planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth His fruit. We are commanded to bear fruit. That's discipleship. Hello? We are commanded to bear fruit. But the secret to a productive Christian life when we will bring forth in our season and we will not wither that whatever we do will prosper, the secret is we have to delight in the law of the Lord and meditate day and night. It means that when you go home, you have your notes with you. You spend time with God in the morning, but you have to review your notes. Pag ikaw ay nasa bus, wala kang ginagawa, hindi ka naman nagwi-witness, anong gagawin mo? Kunin mo yung notebook mo, i-review kman dati message ni pastor. The more you spend time with the word of God, the more you become stronger and you become more vibrant so that you can accomplish what God has called you to do. So why do we choose the good part? To renew our strength. Number two, not only that, but secondly, to refocus our mind. To refocus our mind. Henry Ward Beecher said, The first hour of the morning is the rudder of the day. Do you know what's a rudder? Isudete pangiturong kakabsat iti barko. A ship is a huge vessel. But surprisingly, it is being directed and guided by a rudder. It is a small device attached to that ship. It is so small in comparison to the proportion of the size of the vessel, but it is enough to steer the direction of the ship. Mga kapatid, an hour a day is small compared to your 10 hours of work. But an hour a day is more than enough to set the direction of your mind every day. Kaya alam nyo po, tignan nyo po, how, what does it mean when you refocus your mind? Ganito po yan. Pumunta kayo sa Ephesians chapter 6. Life is a spiritual warfare. In Ephesians chapter 6, it says, verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Kailangan natin yan. 11, put on the whole armor of God that she may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that verse implies that the devil will, will what? Throw arrows at us every day. At marami pong mga Kristiyano ang wala na sa active service. Ang ibang Kristiyano awol. Absence without official leave. Marami na pong mga Kristiyano ang casualty. Marami na rin pong mga Kristiyano ang parang museo. They are still Christians. They still look like a gun, a tank, a warship, but they are no longer active in service. Why? Because they have been taken advantage of the devil. Kung gusto nating maging patuloy na aktibo sa gawain ng Panginoon, 
let us make sure that we put on the whole armor of God every day. Tinatanong nyo sa akin, Pastor, paano ba itong pagsuot ng whole armor every day? Ang pagsusuot ng whole armor of God every day is actually in the mind. It's a mindset. Tignan nyo pong maigi. Dito sa verse number 13, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Put it on in your mind. That's what it says. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Ano daw yung mga dapat nating isuot? Having your loins geared about with truth. Isuot mo sa mindset mo. Put on the mindset of truth. That whatever you do, you, you discern. You use the truth to discern the lies. And deceptions. Agasam ka kapsat. Oferan na ka ni Satanas. Alilawin na ka. Nuhaan ka kakabsat. Nuhaan mo ikawas ti kinapudno. Maalilaw na ka. Iti jablo akabusor mo. And having put on the breastplate to protect your heart. Of course not the literal heart that pumps. No. It means your being, your being a person. Put on righteousness. Pagariyam ti kinalintag at deta nga kinalintag. Iso deto yung sa uti apo. And your feet shed with the preparation of the gospel. Every day you set kat kunam, Lord, I put on the gospel. Tap no mananam ko tinaragsak nga Christian life. Masapul nga ti inal daw. Ikawus ko ti pagiging soul winner. Wherever I go, I, I share the gospel. I invite people to church. The shield of faith. Pamati. Nga digito'y katiraan na ka ni Satanas, digiti ado nga doubts. Pagdwa-dwaan na ka, ngam ko nam, no. Agtalikak ti ko nati apo, I believe what God said. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. So listen to me. Every day, this time we spent with the Lord. Dito de ko na ni Pastor John. See through my eyes. Think through my mind. Listen through my ears. Love through my heart. Work through my hands. Walk through my feet. That's what you do. So you refocus your mind. Sabi ni John Quincy Adams, another president, my custom is to read four or five chapters of the Bible every morning immediately after rising. Can you imagine that? He felt, comp uh, he felt compelled. Something was compelling him. It was perhaps the burden of his duty. And he said, it seems to me the most suitable manner of beginning the day. It is an invaluable and inexhaustible mine of knowledge and virtue. Sabi ng isang article na nabasa ko tungkol sa company, sabi niya, one hour of quiet concentration in any business can be worth two hours of normal working time. According to the management of a Denver business quoted in a sexist magazine item. Ibig pong sabihin, if you want to accomplish more, you need to spend time to reflect on what you do. Hanga dete, ubra ka nga ubra, manso nga manso. Masapo nagtugaw ka nga agpanunot, urnusam, ijay panunot mo kunana, tap nun no ad atyem, dijay tiyempom nga nang urnus, ijay panunot mo, at aduntot maaramid mo, kasi na-assess mo amin nga imuna. Interruptions are the biggest enemy of creativity. We have to admit there are many interruptions in life. So as God's people, spending time with the Lord refocuses our mind. Number three, why we should choose the good part, not only to renew our strength, not only to refocus our mind, but number three, to reprove our wrong ways. To reprove our wrong ways. Amuntalugan. Hang ka dapat drive, laeng nga drive. Inkamot pa check up, agakapsat. 
tabaka dimlang ammo na lokay gayam turnilyunan. Iso nga itangalawas ko na kada Edward idi Sabado during our workers and uh, volunteer workers meeting. O na kada kwada, apay anak ko kundi giti MB. Kasi drive da nga drive kakabsat. Kati na minsan nga gundaway recently drinive ko and I felt it was not in good condition. Kaya na muna tao sa rin nga mapan makikonference kakabsat, e JBHYC. Agasam ta isa kay mo't sa nga pulo, 11 nga young people, biag deta kakabsat. Dure na laing ka nga drive, nuhan na nakakondisyon talugan. Pag amwam ta ag perdilatan, yan ta ting nga ti expressway. Unuhaan, Masukto de kita turnilyo na kakabsat kat agabal baliktad. So I told them, you take to the mechanic in kapakondisyon. Baka adadapat masukatan. Hindi e na minsan ko, hindi e agawit kami kunak kini Pastor Ver. Kunak, ano api anak ko, hindi te embitay tapasukin. Apay ko na mga hana mabaling nga usa rin nga agpa Manila. Kat ko na na Pastor, nung amin pagandarag ta aircon na kat Ngumato, di di temperature gauge na ko na na. Akit ko na kinkwa na kit. At the solusyon na deta ah. Ing kapakita ta mekanik. Baka narugit ta radyador. Masapo lang madalusan deta. Tap nun iti kasta, hanga gober hit no pagandaram ta aircon. So nga, ing kaipan ta mekanik. Us-usaram latan, us-usaram, us-usaram. Kaamom nga da problema na katsapi nga di ka mapan ipan di mekanik. So nga no da duma da tayo kakabsat. Amutay lang aruden nga kakapoy tayo tine espirituan. Amutay lang aruden nga umat adayo ti riknat ay ti apo. Guyguyudin na tayo ti barkada da kay nga young people. Amom lang aruden nga dadigit ti araramid mo sa nga mayataday. Di ka pelang pa i-restore iti apo kakabsat. So anat aramidam, take yourself to the mechanic and that mechanic is the Lord Jesus Christ. You spend time. Ham mo nga ibiyahe pela talugan mo. Inka pela ipan kakabsat, ijayan ta mekaniko. Sakbay nga detay, irupir mo deta, biyag mo nga trabaho. Masapul kakabsat nga spend time ka iso nga you know what? There are many churches nga makita de gidi pa pastor tini ti revival isu nga conduct da ti revival conference marit na da siguro nga agmamayo da gidi members marit na da siguro nga kabsat nga sakbay nga i embark da iti maysa nga great endeavor masapol nga ma-revive ti spiritual life da gidi members masapol nga mapabara masapol nga ma-check there are things that need to be to be what a check in life, things that need to be corrected. But that is the value of the good part. So when you spend time with God, basit lang ang kanito kakabsat ng talaga nga ti impact na ti biyag mo kat kasla ka na tay lugan nga matarimaan. Kasla ka na tay lugan nga matchange oilan. Agasem, 15,000 tinataray ta lugan mo, hindi ka pala na pang pinachange oilan kakabsat. Awano na? Ah, han na makatarayan. Kasla ti Arig na kat motor dito, hindi kakabsat nga Yamaha. No nakapsot ti guyod nan kakabsat, ham mo pilitan, taure kasanot pa ng pikar mo kan pa ng pilit mo kakabsat, talaga nga han na gumuyod, apay, wun ata na murang tatambutso na kakabsat. Baka adu ka da tayo tinamurang tatambutso na ita. Ado dagiti basol ti biyag tayo. Ado dagiti na inlubungan nga pampanunot. Isu nga ure isuro ni Pastor John, kakaase nga mangururat, nga ure lang nga kaslag paparawan kakabsat, hantay ag gunay, ta siguro na murang iti biyag tayo. Isu nga ada di jay termino no kwa dito idi, nga konami kakabsat, inka paribor, konada. Tiket na nga sa wundeta paribor, padalusam tatambutso na, adot murang na. So ti aramidan di mekaniko kakabsat, kudsolan na di jay tambutso ng ikatan na di murang. 
Sanan to isubli ka kapsat nga ikapat. Kat to no patarayam, apaw, mayat man titaray kan kondisyon nan kakapsat. Siguro kasta ti kasapulan tayo kakapsat. We can do more for God. We can win more souls for God. No, ana, marebor dagiti pa nagbiag tayo. Hello? To reprove our wrong ways. Amen. So kadeti umay mo pa nakigimong, Uri, dete la pa nagdingag mo tayo lesson ni Pastor John Itay Kakabsa. Dete ko na na nga, ano te ko na na, ano Erwin ko na na, kastanto ti ibagagan ka, dagita gagayim mo. Sinipaw tayo ti aeroplano, dete man la sinipaw ni Apo Yeso Cristo. Dete pa nakangmud, pa nakangag mo di jagat mapalagi pang ka. Ngamham mo, mabagham mo mga gandi kita, no saan ka mapamakigimong. Amen, Kakabsa? Last but not the least, Not only to reprove our wrong ways, but number four, to receive God's instruction. Mary had chosen the good part. Why? Because it was there when Mary received the instruction from the Lord. Di kanyo kakabsat, amuyo ti New Testament Church, it started kakabsat, i.j. Israel, ayan? When the Lord started that. But you know what? Listen. Listen. Ti talaga nga instrumental, iti worldwide evangelism was the church at Antioch. Tingnan nyo ha, kaya't kung nga makita yun, dito yung kakabsat. Tada kayo di ta Hawaii, da kayo ti instrumental, da kayo ti kasla Antioch Church, nga instrumental ti pa nakaiwaras ti Ibanghelyo, kadag iti amin nga isla, kan amin nga state, iti mainland US. But look, That the church at Antioch, before they were able to send their first missionary, at the inaramid da kagabsat. Ita nyo dito verse one. The Bible says, now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers. Ano ginawa nila? Sino sila? Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, which had been brought up with Herod. Prominente de gito yung kakabsat. Verse 2, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted. Wow! Anat inaramid da kakabsat. Nag-fasting da. Ibig sabihin, handa na pan nagubra, handa nang nangan, nag-pray-prayer meeting tinububra da kakabsat. Amuyo ita, noapay nga nakapoy da gito yung churches, the world evangelism. We have resources. We have buildings that they did not have. We have resources that they did not have. But we are not doing what they did. And do you know what they did? The Bible says they fasted. Kat kalpasan na, ijay kors nga, agkar kararag da kakapsat. The Holy Ghost said, nagsao, they received an instruction. Kat kuna na, separate me Barnabas and Saul. For the work whereunto I have called them. Ijay nga kinasarita ti Holy Spirit. Idakat ko na nakadakwada. Ne, ilasin nyo, ordainan nyo ni Barnabas kini Saul. Verse 3, And when they had fasted and prayed, kalpasan na deto. Diyaka mo naman nung aldaw daan ngayon na rami deto. Naman nung arabi, naman nung oras, ngay sud inup ubrad nga nagkarkararag nga nagkarkararag kakabsat ket kalpasan na dayto ana inaramid da they laid their hands on them and sent them away muyo kakabsat diti main sanctuary tayo this week we are going to conduct series of prayer meetings tonight i am calling all the single men to come to have a prayer meeting why Because we are embarking to start outreaches in Ilocos Sur. You know, it's not easy kakapsat. Amok ka doot prospects. Ado de giti potential. Ado de giti mabalintay nga mapanan. But you know, I want our ministries to do what the Antioch Church did. Kat idim baundan ni Barnabas Consol to their missionary journey. Kita nyo, dududwada kakapsat ng nagadunga churches tina irugida. Apay! Because the church prayed. They received the instruction. 
kaya tayo kakabsat. Iso nga, adapi, di kita churches no ko ang ag-conduct the overnight prayer meeting. Inararamit tayo mo, deta, i din una na dito kakabsat, malagip ko, deta. Nga, hawak kamay ang mga member, agasom, deta, kakabsat, agkararag nga sa gagaysa. Amuyo, the devil is succeeding in keeping Christians from prayer. Mabaling nga natay pigilan nga mapanag soul winning. Mabaling nga natay pigilan nga mapanag church planting but he will make us busy tapno awan tempo tayong agkararag nga kas church. Lagip ko idi ka kabsat midnight prayer meeting ko nami pa idi ka. I, 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 I require ni Pastor Jun umay de giti members. Tapos ginig gumakasta maysa maysa agkararag malpas agrunda no anan tot oras nga malpas ka kabsat agasam deta. Malagip ko, we had our men's prayer meeting every Monday night. Kat mamati ak nga nukasano, dahi ti grow ti HBBC, nukasano nga ti patriarch tayo kat narigain naman nun kakabsat ti pigsana, mamati ak nga deta kat bunga dagi di prayer meeting kakabsat. Iso nga kunak ako, kaya't ko nga pasublian deta. We are big church now. We are growing much more bigger And Lord, if we are to do more for you, we have to spend more time with you. Not that we replace our schedule of activity with prayer, but if we want our schedules to accomplish more, let us do the extra mile. Those hours that we are not doing any church activity, let us take advantage of it for prayer meeting. Alahan ko ibaga kakabsat. Ata, amok nga busy kay amin dita. Ngam ti kayat ko na nga sa uh, In your personal quiet time, ipakpakitak ka da kayo. Deta ti tulbog ti panagbalay giti church tayo. Kuna ni William Wilberforce, who is a Christian statesman of Great Britain in the late 18th and 19th century, amom ti ko na na, I must secure more time for private devotions. I have been living far too public for me. The shortening of private devotions starves the soul. It grows lean and thin. Sumut lang adot agkakapsut kan agmamayo kada tayo kakapsat. Kaputan na kurang ti tiyempo tayo iti apo. Amun, dati umay ka makigimong ti maminsan iti makalawas. No backslider ka kakabsat. Kasla, kasla deta kat napaut kingkan ngam no talaga nga you have the touch of God in your life. Kat nariknam ti dadagsin ti pa nagsoul win. Nariknam nga apo, kaya't ko nga masave dagiti ka bagyat. Kaya't ko nga masave dagiti ka gayim ko. Talaga nga sangitam ti kararag kakabsat. Dakila ba nagdiya the training mo ti soul winning. Ngam awam pigsam aginggang nga dim sangitan iti apo. Nga kunana ti Bible, He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his ships with him. If we want to harvest great, we need to weep for souls. So nga nung marik na yun, di ibagbaga ni Pastor John nga great commission. Kakabsat talaga nga detat responsibilidad tayo. Ngam at dapat dakdakil nga responsibilidad nga ramidin tayo. And that is to weep before we work. Weep for souls. Kat ko na nang intuloy, following a failure in parliament. He remarked, no aping a failure iso na ka no, ti pa nagpanday na tlintag. He remarked that his problems may have been due to the fact that he spent less and less time in his private devotions in which he could earnestly seek the will of God. He concluded, God allowed me to stumble. O ipalubos gayam ti Apo nga ag-fail ka. Deta pa nagtrabaho tayo nga para ti Apo. Apay, tap nun i-call na di attention mo ako na na you are missing a link. At the missing link tabiag mo anak ko. Iso deto yung pa nag-spend time mo kanya. Eh, the secret of powerful preachers, powerful pastors, and powerful churches, mga kapatid, is prayer. Prayer. Spending time with God. Listening to His Word. Choose the good part. Amen. Somebody visited Charles Spurgeon. Kat ko na naging kwa na, Sir, Pastor Charles Spurgeon, what is the secret to your powerful and great ministry? And he said, Come, 
I'll take you to the secret of my powerful ministry. Kat na pan kakabsat, i jay sirok, at dati underground, di jay stage na, di jay, di jay pagpipritsan na idi, hampi na nga jay metropolitan tabernacle, jay mun una kapilyana. Kat i jay sirok kakabsat, at dari daw nga linukatan na kat nakita na, dagiti men kakabsat, nagkarkararag, kat kunana, this is the secret of my powerful ministry. Isu dat mangin intercede kanyak, isu dat mangi babaot kanyak itiyapo. Oh, kakabsat, listen to me. The work is so great that the human will fail but the divine will cause us to succeed. So nga kakabsat, let us choose the good part. Han yu bay bay anti daily quiet time. Han tayo bay bay an dagiti prayer meetings tayo. Numabalbalin nga nayunan tayo. Nayunan tayo pa kakabsat. Numabalbalin nga nasapsapa ka pa yung agriing tibigat tapno at adot tiyempo nga makisarita ti Apo aramidam detang e extra mile and I'm telling you it will sustain you all throughout your life listen to me Christians should be powerful influencers in this world but the reason to their failure is not lack of resources is not lack of manpower we already have so much and even more than enough what we lack is simply prayer so ngayon today tinga malam I would like to encourage you let us choose the good part I'm telling you agbalintay itong epektibo itin tayo pa nag soul winning pa nag disciple kan pa nag trabaho nga para iti apo the Lord continue to bless each and every one of us let us pray Heavenly Father thank you so much this is very important for us to hear that Martha was cumbered and careful about many things, but Mary chose the good part. Dear Lord, help us for our for our neglect. Pakaw na nakam dagiti neglect me apo ti daily quiet time me. Kan iti prayer meetings me apo. It's so sad that the very powerhouse of the church, which is prayer meeting, is sometimes the the least attended by believers. Panginoong Dios, I pray that you will revive our prayer meetings. Thank you, Lord, for this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone says? Amen. Amen.